So you have the new Ryobi router, PCL424, and you're trying to figure out how to put on this vacuum attachment. Well, the instruction manual is not very helpful, but I got it figured out. I'm Ryan to the rescue, and I'm here to help you. Let's get started. The coolest part about this router to me is this vacuum attachment, because I like to keep my workspace clean but it's a little tricky to put it on. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. It goes in place of this little window right here. See how it's made exactly that same shape? But what you need to do is take this base plate off. And before we do any adjustments, we're going to take the battery off for safety. So we need to remove all four of these screws. and then you take this base plate off. So first thing you do is get your fingers up underneath this plastic portion, and you're going to push up right here. Then this part is still attached, and what you do is you slide it down. So easy once you know what you're doing. Now to attach the vacuum part. You slide these two parts right up in between here first, and then you push this part down. Voila, it's ready to go. Let me show you from the side. This part slides in right here. And then the bottom, you push down. Then we're ready to reattach the base plate. Now the base plate can technically go on either way, so that can be a matter of preference. And then we just put all of the screws back in. Okay, now that we have that in place, all we have left to do is attach the vacuum. And if you need further instruction on how to use this router, then check out this video that I have right here where I go into depth about all the features and functions of this awesome tool. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click like, and please consider subscribing to Ryan to the Rescue. We put out new how-to videos every week. Now, let's get routering. We can do it.